guys welcome back to the closet hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Benita where we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury and we usually post videos on Wednesdays and Fridays on Wednesdays is a luxury video and Fridays are fast five Friday I hope the quality of this video is good guys I am in my closet as you can see um, my house is full of teenagers and young adults today my son is home my daughter's home from college baby girl you know she's always here um, so it is running rampant today of people so I had to hide in the closet so I hope the quality and the sound everything in this video is good so today I have a comparison video between my Louis Vuitton graceful MM and my Louis Vuitton speedy 35 so I am going Going on a trip pretty soon and I usually use these two bags for travel I've definitely used the speedy 35 many times on an airplane so on and so forth for travel but now that I have the Graceful MM I thought well I could probably use it for travel too so today I went to see exactly what fits inside if I'm gonna you know use these bags for travel how much I can pack in the bag will it be too heavy will it hold up and um, so I wanted to share this with you because I was thinking about it and I said this probably be a good video if I'm thinking about it I'm sure someone else out here would like to know exactly what fits inside these two large bags as it relates to travel so if you like this video please like and subscribe before you leave but without further ado we're gonna get started so if you're looking for these two bags it's I love research videos on luxury items because like I've always said when you are ready to purchase anything you need to count the cost and you need to do your due diligence and research whether it's a dollar or ten thousand dollars I'm really not a big fan of wasting money so with that being said I like to provide research videos so if people are looking for certain things or a certain bag um, they can use my video as research but the two bags that we're going to talk about the two favorite bags in my collection is going to be my graceful mm and of course you know you know what's coming <laughs> and my speedy 35 even though these two bags are totally different i think they have a lot of things in common i also think that um they're very popular um in the louis vuitton line so again if you're looking for either one of these bags i did a video a full review on the graceful mm i will link that down below i think i did a wear and tear review as well on the speedy 35 and i'll link that down below so you can have two separate takes on the bags and then today i want to put them side by side measurements see what fits and then you can decide which type of bag is best for you so this is the speedy 35 and it's a 35 because it's 35 centimeters straight across here and i will put the complete measurements here on the screen um, or even link them down below so you'll know exactly um what the measurements of the speedy 35 are so i like bigger bags i know people like the speedy 25 um and it doesn't matter if it's bandolier or not because they are the same size so the speedy 25 the speedy 30 35 and if they still make the speedy 40 i would i would love a speedy 40 um, because that is really like a travel bag i use this bag as an everyday bag an everyday purse but i also definitely pull it out when i travel it's important to me to have a big bag that i can just throw things in and the speedy 35 is one of the best bags now i don't have a bandolier i just it's just top handle but i do have an extra strap let me get it hold a moment okay i'm back i do have an extra strap for my terrain pm that i use um and i do not suggest this this is at your own risk because it, this is not a bandolier and if it's too heavy you might pull the um the grommet so you don't want to do this often but when i travel i do put the strap on it and i just click one here and then i click one here and then i can put it on my um, shoulder if i need to but again i don't suggest that because it is not made that way this is just a quick fix if i need to be hands free i do it most of the time i leave it hooked on just for decoration if i'm out shopping i can put it crossbody um so but if you absolutely like the speedy but you need to have a strap definitely go with the bandolier again i do not suggest this because it will cause a lot of wear and you can pull the grommets here 
and ultimately rip your bag. And I use this when I travel because the size of the Speedy 35, you can fit a lot, you can fit a lot of things in. And when you're traveling on the airplane, um, it fits overhead and it fits underneath. So when I am traveling on the airplane, if it, if I need to put this overhead, I'm fine with it. Um, I just put it in the overhead bin, but if I have to put it on underneath, I usually put it in a plastic bag or another type of bag on top, slide it underneath because I don't want it touching the dirt where people put their feet and such. So let's talk about, um, what fits. Now this is the Speedy 35 and you know this is a vintage bag. It's an older bag now. It's about 27 years old, I believe. Um, so it has one inside pocket and it doesn't have a zipper. I believe the new ones do have a zipper. So you can put, you know, little things in there. All right, so let's see what we can fit inside the bag. Um, this is my Louis Vuitton Truce 23. And it's just a, let's see, it's a catch-all. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys. It's just a catch-all. We have a lot of junk in there. So we're going to, so we're going to put that inside. Okay. I'm using my full-size wallet okay still a lot of room key holder my pochette no not a pochette um what is it key clay sorry still a lot of room okay now i usually take this like during the fall and spring when i have a sweater so let's see if a sweater fits i'm going to just fold it erroneously and just see if the sweater fits and it does because when you're traveling on the plane you definitely need a sweater or a light blanket or a scarf so it fits my Dior cosmetic bag Let's see if that fits it does a belt <laughs> fits in there I don't know let's just say if you have your passports if you're traveling internationally passports passports and special paperwork let's see if that fits in here it does you can also fit your umbrella can you can just lay it on top i thought i had my umbrella in let's pretend that this is a compact umbrella okay and you can fit that on top let's see if it zips and it absolutely does everything zips in the bag no bulges no bumps and lumps but guess what it is extremely heavy so i do not suggest that you pack it this full but if you use it for traveling you can use it as a carry-on it will fit one set of clothing i put shoes in here like flip-flops in here one outfit in here all of your essentials so you can definitely use this as a carry-on purse um, a carry-on bag so i would definitely recommend the speedy 35. all right emptying it all back out let's just see if a laptop can fit i've never tried to fit my 13 inch um, MacBook in here so I don't have it in here with me but here is the the cover so we're gonna pretend it's in here let's see if it will fit and it does not obviously you can fit it this way but I don't think I mean if you're in a pinch you could do that but I wouldn't suggest all right next we have my workhorse <laughs> as you know my graceful mm I love this bag okay here's my little tab the last video i forgot to attach it so you will know that this bag already fits a lot because i have another purse inside this bag i'm trying to redo my closet i broke my shelving so i had to kind of consolidate my purses and i put my terrain pm my terrain pm which is the size of like a speedy 25 fits right just comfortably inside of the graceful mm gonna have all of the dimensions and everything either linked down below or here on the screen so it is like a tote here's the front here's the back it's considered a hobo but i will i consider it a tote um louis vuitton considers totes with two straps and this only has one strap so that's why it's considered a hobo bag and the slouch of the bag will consider it a hobo but whatever you call it we're gonna see what fits inside now the thing right off the bat is just like the um speedy 35 
the bandolier version or my version with the strap it gets really heavy this strap is a little more comfortable it has the matte damier um, even leather so it's a little more comfortable but still it doesn't dig into your shoulder but when you put it on with everything in it it's pretty heavy all right so let's see what fits inside the first thing let's try to see if the matte book fits inside so here's our matte book and it probably now remember it's not in here it probably could so we're going to say yes that it fits inside. You probably can shimmy it in there when the matte book. So we're going to say yes, it fits inside. So it has the matte book, um, the matte book 13 inch, our Dior uh, makeup case. We're going to do our wallet again. Okay, it's already getting kind of heavy. Um, we're going to do these two little items here. And we're going to put this in the zip pocket. We have some paper in there. So we're going to slide those in the zip pocket travel paperwork in okay so we're still yeah okay we're gonna do our large cosmetic bag that has all of our medicines and cosmetics in here for travel we're gonna put a belt <laughs> Yeah, I would stop there because this is extremely heavy and it's buckling, so I wouldn't put that much in there. Um, and with if the MacBook was really in here, it would be even heavier. So let's take the MacBook out. So we're not going to put the MacBook, we're not going to take the MacBook with us. And this is what we have left. Sweater, which would represent like our article of clothing, our sweater, our scarf lightweight jacket yes we can and then we're gonna put our makeshift umbrella right on top so it's packed to the rim so I don't know and it's kind of misshapen and it's really really heavy so I definitely wouldn't use this to this capacity so of the two, between the Speedy and the Graceful MM, I would say that the Speedy wins as far as what it can hold comfortably. Um, because this doesn't have, for security, it doesn't have a top zip. So the more you put in it, the more it's going to bulge out. So that's another thing of that. Yeah, we can close it barely with with all the contents in there but the sweater and the umbrella and the macbook will not be able to fit in there you can probably get tons of more small items but not anything like tall that would prohibit it from closing all right guys so here's my two favorite bags what fits inside as it relates to travel i hope you like this video please like and subscribe before you leave and um, i'll see you in the next one